Hello everyone, and welcome to my April haul video. As always, I'm going to apologize in advance for traffic noise. Um, I guess I will pause and show you why there's always traffic noise. So this is where I record. I'm just going to turn to my right. That is where the window is, and that is where the road is. So now you know why there is always traffic noise. Um, there's a bit of news that I'm not going to share yet because I'm not fully sure what exactly is uh, going to happen with it, but uh, some of this traffic noise may be remedied soon. So, I will pause again and get set back up. Alright, we're going to start with supplies. I believe this is the only thing that I got for supplies. This is the color 240 piece colored pencil set. I have used this. They are pretty freaking awesome. Metal tin. It does have a swatching chart, which I have not done yet. And as you can see, I've been using them. I used this on uh, one of my finished pages for April, which you'll see in my next video. I did kind of sort them. Um, like I said, there's comes with two sharpeners. The other one is sitting by my chair in the living room. Um, fantastic, fantastic set. Um, well worth the budget cost of under fifty dollars. They blend well. I like them. Uh, I will definitely be using these a lot in the future. Um, I'm going to start with my ever-growing collection of thrifted books. So this one is Whales on Stilts. Um, I do have a page that I colored in it for April, so we'll go past that. Um, I did mark all the pages that have something on it that you can color. This is kind of a steampunkish type book, uh, woodcut kind of. Um, I really like it. I'm even considering that something to color. Got players and a drill and some teeth. A little flyer type thing. And then the next one I got is The Mystery of the Cupboard, Lynn Reed Banks. This is a, kind of a continuation or prequel, has something to do with the book The Indian in the Cupboard. Um, fantastic art in here. Very much looking forward to uh, using those pencils I just showed you in here. Um, it's the little boy. And there's a person, a little tiny person that came to life in the cupboard. So that is The Mystery of the Cupboard by Lynn Reed Banks. The next one is The Dragon Lover's Guide to Pern. Jody Lynn Nye with Anne McCaffrey. I believe Anne McCaffrey is the one who actually wrote the books. Uh, so there is pictures of plants. There is an example of women's garb in Fort Hold using local fabrics. Some pretty cool grayscale drawings. Uh, this cool holographic little bookmark was a nice little gem to find in here. So 
There's a dragonette fishing. Some more of the animals that are in here. Crawlers, those look fun. Trundle bugs. So that is the Dragon Lover's Guide to Pern. Jody Lynn Nye with Anne McCaffrey, illustrated by Todd Cameron Hamilton. Maps and illustrations by James Klaus. This is actually a book that was my boyfriend's mother's. I have used this book to find some knots that I needed for specific situations. And I looked at it the other day and thought, hey, I can color this. I think I will only color the photographs and not the diagrams because the diagrams I want to be able to use. So all kinds of fun stuff in there that I could color. And there's also like clothing patterns in the back. So I did ask him if I could color in it. He said, why yes, and thank you for asking. So there is Doing Your Own Thing with Macrame by Laura Labarge. This one, New Woman Presents Best Cartoons from New Woman. Over 700 hilarious views of today's new woman. Compiled by Margaret Harold. So this is just a bunch of comics out of uh, New Woman magazine. These will be so fun to color. Just a lot of different little things in here. That'll be a lot of fun. New Woman Presents Best Cartoons from New Woman. Next one is The Treasury of Kittens. 141 color and black and white photographs. Obviously I'm not coloring the color ones. There's some there. I will be coloring these black and white ones. Um, some of them I think I will even color just weird because they're dark and it would be hard to color them how you're supposed to, I would think, some of them. Little kitties. This is The Treasury of Kittens by Marjorie Hudson. And this one, Famous Cities of the World, Copenhagen, photographs by Michael Brussel, with introduction by William Sansom. So there's a bunch of black and white photos in here. Things that I could look up if I felt like doing so. Almost even looks like it's in German. That'll be fun. Do some sparkly fireworks. Heat just kicked on. Sorry about that noise. I will do my best to speak up. So just some more roof lines. That'll be fun. Be a bunch of clay tile colors. So there is Famous Cities of the World, Copenhagen. Photographs by Michael Grissel. Introduction by William, William Sansom. Alright, now we're going to get into actual color books. This one is Magic Potions 2 by Ogle. Olga Golzichna. Yeah. There it is. So I got this on Amazon. Just 
a bunch of cute little pictures of potions and things. I want to say I saw a flip of this on another channel, but I cannot off the top of my head think of who it is. I need to start writing these things down. Just some fun, cute little, little potions. This one is in circle. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergy season. In circle. It's Coco Wild book. Oh, this too, I saw a flip of. I want to say on Colorful Pirate, but I could be wrong. It's just a bunch of different things in a circle formation. And if there's anything you see during this that you want a full flip of, let me know. That is In Circle by Coco Wayo. Next we have Charlie Harper, Coloring Book Volume 2. I did do a page in here that I will show in my finished pages video. So these are the pictures that are in here. And these, these are his renderings. And they start out pretty simple. Some of them are more complex than others. I love mid-century modern, and this is very mid-century modern. So that is Charlie Harper Coloring Book, Volume 2. Then I have Charlie Harper Coloring Book, Volume 1. Again, these renderings. I also colored a couple in here. And this is really nice thick cardstocky paper. It is one sided. Otters are so cute. And some of these I will do like the illustrations in the book, and some I will do just however I feel like doing them. So that's Charlie Harper, Coloring Book Volume 1. And then I also got Charlie Harper 50 Drawings Coloring Book. This one is a lot more complex than the other ones. Um, it is a hardcover. So these are what is in there. I did color one in here as well. And these are the others. Again, I just love mid-century modern. So some of these are pretty complex looking like a bunch of woodland creatures. That, if you can't tell, is the silhouette of a bear behind a bunch of birch trees. This looks like water-dwelling birds, waterfowl. That fox picture again. There's not very many duplicates in all three of these books. There's, I think, maybe three or four. So I'm glad I got all of them. So that is Charlie Harper, 50 Drawings Coloring Book. Next are my books that I found uh, because I started an Instagram. 
my first account got deleted. I'm not entirely sure why. I think they thought I was a bot. Uh, because my channel or my account there was growing pretty fast. So uh, just started a new one and it's growing slightly slower. But I don't want them to think that I'm a bot. So um, I found a few books. Uh, there's some more that I want to get, but I've got to pace myself. Um, so these are Instagram artists that I got coloring books from. This is Meditation Coloring Book, 100 Mandalas, Volume 1 by Cody Cross. So this is your Amazon printed paper. It is one-sided. A bunch of different mandalas. I do like that there is a border here. Just a bunch of different mandala type things. So that is the Meditation Coloring Book 100 Mandalas Volume 1 created by Cody Cross. The next one is also from Cody Cross. This is Sacred Geometry Inspired Coloring Book, 50 Patterns and Designs, Volume 1. I've marked a few in here that I might start with. Again, one-sided Amazon paper, the borders, just fun designs. This one's going to be kind of crazy, but I really like it. And I like sacred geometry stuff, um, patterns and nature and interesting art things I really like. So sacred geometry inspired coloring book, 50 patterns and designs, volume one, created by Cody Cross. The next two. Kaiwai Coloring Book, Chibi Girl, Cat, and Plants. This one is by Alan Austin. A bunch of cute little chibi girls with plants and cats. Which, if you have cats, you gotta be careful with your plants. Uh, I had to move all mine when I rescued my cat. And most of them are downstairs in the store. These, I have one in the art room, but it is up high. He doesn't jump on things, so that's good. Pardon the semi going by. So, I do love plants. There are a lot downstairs, a lot of them. And again, there's any of these books that you want to see a full flip of, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to do so. This is Kaiwai Coloring Book, Chibi Girl, Cat, and Plants by Alan Austin. And this next one is Four Books in One by Alan Austin, Kaiwai Coloring Book, Cat, Panda, and Food. There's 120 pictures in here, one-sided. I believe this is Amazon paper. Yes, it is. It has a border. Whenever I'm looking through here, I stop on that page. I'm thinking it's telling me something. There is Kaiwai Coloring Book, Cat, Panda, and Food by Alan Austin. So this is also an artist I found on Instagram, Lori Craig. This is uh, Mandela's. She says on here, 40 unique images from easy to oh my god. And some of them are indeed oh my god. So, a bunch of Mandela images. So, 
some of them are very very detailed I really like this one I love circles circles are fantastic which is part of the reason I think I like Mandela's they're circle ish and then there's also like this and then this is a close-up section of that so that I also like Here's a close-up section of that one. Pretty cool book. This is a smaller one. Eight and a half by eight and a half. So that is adult coloring book by Laura Craig. Lori Craig. Next one I got is Beautiful and Intricate Coloring Book for Adults Volume 2 by Lori Craig. More mandalas. Some of these are uh, not quite so intense. That makes me think of bats. I'm gonna have to do that Halloweeny. Got a couple of them marked here. That I thought looks kind of like wings and dragonfly bodies, so I think I'm gonna make that look kind of like dragonflies. Then I have this one marked. Kind of the same, but this looks like pansies to me. It's kind of dragonfly body-ish. I don't know. I really enjoy it. <coughs> so that is Beautiful and Intricate Coloring Book for Adults Volume 2 by Lori Craig. And then I also got The Shadow Within Black, White, and Grayscale Adult Coloring Book by Lori Craig. This one has some very, very cool, like this is the same, but opposite. Um, there's quite a few of those in here like that. And you got your grayscale ones in here. And there's some really, really, really neato grayscale ones in here. I really like that. This is going to be so fun. Yep, I like these grayscale ones in here too. That you can kind of see the either brush strokes or pen strokes, whatever it was that she used to do that. Um, we've been having some conversations on Instagram. Pretty excited to dive into these. So that is The Shadow Within, Black, White, and Grayscale Adult Coloring Book by Lori Craig. Next, I got from Dover, Monster Sea Creatures Coloring Book, a close-up coloring book by Diana Zorelius. So this is, you know, creepy sea creatures close up and it says what they are which is awesome if you've been watching me for any amount of time you know that I like that I do like reference pictures and you know little blurbs about each little thing um, there's three different books that I found in this series um, I ordered all of them, but one of them is back order. That would be the insect ones. Um, I did get monster reptiles as well. A close-up coloring book by Diana Zorelius. So, yeah, same concept, close-up says what it is gives you a little blurb cool stuff and I like that the outlines are bigger um, it is two-sided so I won't be able to use alcohol markers but uh, 
I still like it. It'll be fun. I like that there's the kind of size comparisons on here too. In the back and in the front. It says how big each of them gets. Pretty neato. Informative and fun. So that's Monster Reptiles. Uh, monster Insects, which is actually the one that uh, started this whole monster close-up coloring book craze, was uh, the one that started it all, and of course that one's the one that's back ordered. So, um, I also got some more of these Creative Therapy Neuro Relax coloring books. This one is like the one I have, but is more intricate. Um, I really enjoy these books and look forward to coloring in this and figuring out how to work with these lines. They're very thin and very faint. So that is Creative Therapy Coloring Book Neuro Relax. And then I also got this one. Creative Therapy Neuro Relax Coloring Book. This one's like the last one, but it is got zigzags and swirls with the stuff, so you know, slightly warped pictures like the other ones. These ones are really fun to do, just random colors and let it take you wherever it goes. So that is Creative Therapy Neuro Relax Coloring Book. And that is all that I have for my April haul. My next video will be my April finished pages. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.